the chatur i'll just paraphrase this chatur varnya the yes. krishna talks about the four varnas the caste system uh yeah. how do you see it because at one point he also says in 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 varnas i am brahman so he somehow he puts uh, like you know when he's saying that in uh, vedas i'm some veda i'm in 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 animals i'm sing uh, so at some at so uh, i had some people uh, who believe in birth based caste system and i had some people in who believe in uh, merit based caste system uh, or a merit based one vyavastha so what happened mm. is the conflict is the people quote that chapter 4 uh, shloka about the four varnas but at the same time the people who believe in birth based caste system they say no 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 krishna also said in his gita that i am brahman you know i am so uh, he he is putting brahmins at top and you know uh, kshatriya and then, you know the whole varnas so what is your understanding since you know the okay wisdom gita yeah. is it a birth based is it a merit based how it is okay yeah So, so now first thing is i have read the gita many times and i have never seen any verse which says krishna says among varanas i am the brahmana okay. now he talks about all this in the 10th chapter and mm-hmm. while you are mentioning this i have the 10th chapter opened over here and okay. i searched for varana within it it's i don't see krishna mention anything oh, about varana not, in the 10th it's chapter. not my uh, saying that's what yeah. i told her also but uh, so no and so anyway so i don't think krishna says among the varanas i am a brahmana mm-hmm. because if you see historically speaking he was born in a kshatriya family correct he appeared in kshatriya family and he grew up among vaishyas he was grew up on nanda maharaj and vaishoda which were they were cowherds mm-hmm. so i have never seen anywhere krishna claiming that i am a brahmana okay mm-hmm. so that is not true now having said that krishna himself clearly states that guna karma vibhagasha this is a merit based system mm-hmm. so now having said that it is merit based it does not necessarily mean it is not birth based Okay. because merit within the vedic context merit and birth can be connected so we understand that this life is not our only life there is punar janma there is reincarnation mm-hmm. so the traditional understanding is that if say souls from a particular varna mm-hmm. say if a brahmana man and a brahmana woman or a kshatriya man and a kshatriya woman they unite within a proper dharma vivaha Mm-hmm. in a religious context religious consciousness mm-hmm. then they will attract a soul who has similar varna mm? so uh, uh, so that means the soul who has left a body somewhere else has died their body has died they will come into their body mm-hmm. so so it was not that birth was irrelevant so if the, it was dharma viva there's a high chance that uh, the progeny of a particular parent would belong would be have the same disposition as them mm-hmm. and also it is not just birth again it's upbringing so if the upbringing goes on uh, goes on compatibly then naturally the child will grow up and go into that varna but but that doesn't mean that varna should be forced on the person if a person is born in kshatriya family but they have brahman varna then that's what they should they should be encouraged to do so we have the example in the bhagavad gita so in the bhagavatam there is a king rishabh dev mm-hmm. he is described in the uh, pancham skanda fifth canto true and there he has multiple sons and some of his sons grow up to be sages some of his sons grow up to be kings mm. and that's perfectly accepted so so in the bhagavatam it says lakshana proktaha that we have to look at the lakshana we have to look at the characteristics the behavior even in the mahabharat uh, when yudhishthir is talking with nahusha mm-hmm. he says that this system now he is talking about the thousand of years ago when the mahabharat occurred and that time he is saying that in the past this uh, system has this was existing but now it has become messed up because they are not necessarily there has been inter, uh, there have been marriages across varanas and that's why what is the exact varana of the husband the wife Mm-hmm. and what will the varana of the child that is something which is which is difficult to discern and therefore he says we should look at the qualities we should look at the behavior mm-hmm. and based on that we should decide the varana so it was merit based or mm-hmm. we could say it was yes inclination based it was talent based it was merit based but birth was not irrelevant the problem came when uh, when birth became the sole criteria 
and merit became completely neglected okay then it became exploitative in a corrupt system so you're saying primarily merit gunas but birth is also relevant what about yeah. what about inter caste marriages or inter faith marriages and that happens in iskon as well yeah so now in as i said in today's world how much uh, does a particular person's birth varna mm-hmm. matter in the kind of professions that they choose okay. now, is it that everybody who is born in a brahmana family they are going to choose uh, a brahman uh, they are going to choose a brahmanical profession no no you know we live in a world which is quite uh, disorganized as compared to the vedic tradition standard mm mm-hmm. so in one sense each of us has to chart our way mm-hmm. in life today mm-hmm. so depending on the situation we are in depending on the kind of people we have access to you know we all have to find out the relationship that work best for us so there's no bhagavad gita verse which categorically condemns inter caste or inter faith marriages now in general compatibility is important correct now if we could consider a traditional setting where more or less people lived according to the culture of a particular varana mm-hmm. so then if both the boy and the girl had been brought up in a similar setting mm-hmm. then co- that sameness of varana was a reasonable guarantor of compatibility true now today because that condition is not there so every individual will have to find out correct that's why you know relationships are a big challenge in today's world true 